Um, ah, uh, huff, I fortunately have the Mara rebirth which can regrow the arm, otherwise I would have been a condor hero, but without the condor. Gold and silver arms are not as good as one's original arm. Ran Ran should have quickly returned to Elder Gongsun's residence. I too must wrap this matter quickly and return to pack up and leave. You're not coming back with me? Why don't you go first? Brother needs to find a place to restore my arm it could be quiet gory. So brother fears you would be worried. Don't worry. Brother will soon be there. Who wants to worry for you? Now, let's check out the new toy. Origin Points 13,256 You've discovered a mysterious artifact. S number C74412, Spiritual Incarnation Mask, Contaminated. This is a product of an advanced mysterious civilization and is part of a set of four masks, plum, orchid, bamboo, and chrysanthemum. This mask is the orchid, one of the four gentlemen. By sacrificing a portion of your spirit, flesh, and blood, it can create a spiritual avatar for you. It has been detected that this artifact is contaminated. There is a risk of losing control after forming a contract. If you spend 1,000 origin points, you can remove the contamination and gain access to it. I have to spend my origin points on decontamination first, and alas, I can't make ends meet with my origin points. According to Qing Jing, the contamination is caused by the fragmented thoughts of Zhou Yanping's true spirit. Zhou Yanping caused problems when he was alive, and he is still being annoying when he is dead. He is irritating whether he is alive or dead. But I have to decontaminate this. Otherwise the example of you longer and the fake Mara is a warning. I don't want to create a crystallization of love between me and Zhou Yanping. Decontaminating The system has assumed control over this mysterious artifact's contract. You can expend 200 origin points to create a spiritual avatar. Do you want to execute this plan? The system can assume control over the contract? I see. Yu Long, Qing Jing, and Zhou Yanping sacrificed a portion of their spirit, flesh, and blood to create a clone. Since I have the system, I can use origin points to skip this. But it requires only 200 origin points. Is it so cheap? Since it is so cheap, of course I choose yes. Matters that can be resolved by spending origin points should naturally use origin points. Things like sacrificing spirit, flesh, and blood sound strange. Put some clothes on. You're such an eyesore. Mysterious Artifact S number C74412 Spiritual Avatar Mask has been activated. The host can spend origin points to select personality modules and skills to be transferred. Personality Trait Modules Expand Transferable Skills Expand Let me see what personality traits are available, huh? Mysterious Artifact S number C74412 Spiritual Avatar Personality Trait Module, not selected. Note, the spiritual avatar possesses all memories of the host, except those of the system. The personality will be inclined to a certain module. After selection, the chosen modules will be enhanced and unchosen modules will be weakened. Personality Trait Modules are analyzed based on the host's original personality. You may select one or more, arrogance, congeit, narrow-mindedness, greed, mendectiveness. What does 50 in the brackets mean? One personality trait module is worth 50 origin points. So it was waiting for me here. I was wondering why creating a human was so cheap. Besides, system, why don't you have anything good about me? They are below, but compared to the long list of negative traits before, why are there so few positive traits? Did you forget to write system? Forget it. Just this one. It's meaningless to have several traits. Just one is enough. 50 origin points is not much to spend. If you want to trick me into making an in-app purchase, you are still too amateur, system. Hee <laughs> hee. There are so many powerhouses in this world. If you unwittingly offend someone, it would be worrisome in the blink of an eye. A mere clone like you is not like me who has the system. Being a bit cautious wouldn't hurt. Next, the skills. Please select the skills to be transferred into the spiritual avatar. Once chosen, they cannot be changed. You may select one or more. Finger of Nirvana Level 3 Finger of Flowery Swords Level 5 True Art of Mara Level 5 Everlasting Dominating Fist Level 5 Golden Scripture of the Unorthodox Path to Immortality Sword Refinement by the Five Elements Level 5 Zen Technique of Joy Primary Edition Level 1 Over the Level Cap Primary Teleportation Magic Level 4 Over the Level Cap
Secret Unorthodox Taoist Method Body and Sword Fusion Level 2, Over the Level Cap, Startling Rainbow Escape Level 3, Over the Level Cap, Enhanced. Spirit Nurturing Technique Level 2, Over the Level Cap, Divine Impact of Zen Level 6, Over the Level Cap, Fist of God Level 4, Over the Level Cap, All 2000 Point. Holy beep, turns out the biggest pitfall was waiting for me here. Besides, aren't you fucking stealing money, system? Why all of them cost 2,000 origin points? I can reluctantly accept if you charge me 2,000 origin points for skills like True Art of Mara. But you have the nerve to charge me 2,000 origin points. For Beat King Fist of God? Is it really all or equal? And rubbish is the same price as gold? If I had known this earlier, I would have chosen Spirit Sacrifice instead. Forget it, I give in. Next time. If there's going to be this sort of origin point collection service and installments, system, please make sure to explain it clearly in advance. Since it's a clone, I can't let people associate it with me. I cannot transfer the finger of flowery swords or the finger of nirvana. More importantly, the finger of nirvana consumes lifespan when there are no origin points. Forget about the everlasting dominating fist. It cannot be transferred. I have the system and many trump cards so it doesn't matter even if the will of the self alone is supreme influences me. But you're just a mere clone, I can be reckless, but you can't afford to. Then true art of Mara it is, it's comprehensive enough it can fight, it can flee, and it even has resurrection, but I don't know if the system can block the negative side effects on this one, if it's the original version. I'll have to sternly warn him later, otherwise this clone will probably end up committing a lot of unnecessary killings of innocents in the future. Um, I'll add primary teleportation magic as well, which will enhance his ability to escape. Beep it's expensive, I have to spend 2,000 points again. Only over 8,000 origin points are remaining. Personality trait module successfully loaded, skill module successfully loaded. Spiritual avatar creation complete. It's really identical to me. Unacceptable, I must change his appearance. I can't let people regard you as me. You don't need hair. Next, your face can't be too handsome. I'll change your whole face. Let's see what kind of face I can prepare for you. Um, it's too cute, not intimidating in the slightest. This is rather mature, but it's too effeminate. This is perfect, I like it, but it's too tough and cannot blend in a crowd. Some time later. All right, this face is the one. At first glance, it looks both invincible and ordinary. From now on, you're an envoy of the eternal heavens sinful monk of the demonic heavens, Quan Yi Chao. Okay, we're all set, so let's do some experiments together, first. I'm ready, come on. Aren't you a bit too cooperative? I'm your clone, so cooperating with you is my duty. But when you created me, you set a higher level of caution. I judge that when you cut my arm, you wouldn't pay attention to the size of the wound, the amount of blood loss or whether the reattachment of the clone's severed hand would fail, and whether I would experience any side effects if it failed. For the sake of my safety, it would be better if I handle it myself rather than having you take action, master. Attachment is successful, the complexion has changed and movement is smooth, it's very good, very natural. Oh, is it? Next, let's test this arm's ability. Wait, let me first make a few preparations. Desire for touch, shield manifestation. Hell flame, demonic essence of the vermilion bird. Come on, master. Come on, my ass. This arm can only absorb techniques by taking hits. You need to drop the defense for me. But master, you're stronger than me. What if you accidentally kill me? Then use the Mara rebirth to resurrect. And while you're at it, test whether the arm will detach after rebirth. Now, refine this arm on the ground into a vessel for rebirth. How, huh, when? I've prepared well just now, master. If you're not in a hurry, why don't you wait for me to collect enough thoughts of fiery intent for the rebirth? I'm in a hurry to run, so hurry up. All right, then, please be gentle when you strike later, master, and if possible, avoid hitting the fatal areas. Shut up. Some time later. He's finally done. This is really dragging me out. This guy is way too cautious. Although it was a tedious process. I've finally figured out the overall situation with the arm and the clone. As I had expected, the arm is entirely a foreign object once dead, the arm will immediately detach and it won't be revived using the Mara rebirth. Not only that, after the Mara rebirth, 
the clone's face will revert to my face, which is actually troublesome. Beep, it seems that all the effort I put in earlier was in vain. Forget about fixing this face in the future. Try not to die if possible. If you do die and resurrect, disfigure yourself at once. Wear a secondary mask at all times and don't get me involved. Master, actually I can also perform plastic surgery on myself. It's just that without the finger of Nirvana, it won't recover as quickly after changing the face, but the true art of Mara also contains a quick recovery method. Master, I've already recovered well. Your face seems to be different from the one I made for you. This is the face you prepared for me, Master. All right, it's great that you can fix this yourself. I'll hand you some future plans and we'll discuss them later. This punk just received the true art of Mara. Why does it seem like he's even better at it than I am? Gong Sun Residence. Dawn. Our big shot finally decided to return. Here, take this. It's Lian Chi Luo's visiting card. She specifically asked to meet you. Hurry up and go out to send her away. Ha, huh, Lian Chi Luo wants to see me? Maybe it's to apologize to me. After all, Cult Master F.A. previously promised this on her behalf. Little Xie Yen, don't blame me if I didn't warn you. Women are deceitful, and the older they get, the more deceptive they become. Be careful not to fall for her tricks. Rest assured, Elder, I'm well seasoned in these matters. There's no need to worry about a mere Lian Chi Luo. Humph, I forgot you're a mischievous boy disliked by women. Perhaps I should worry about Lian Chi Luo instead. Ha ha ha, I'll go dismiss Lian Chi Luo now, Elder. Once you and Ahao have packed up, inform Ran Ran, there's been a slight change in our escape plan. No need for disguises. Ran Ran has a big surprise for everyone. Um, um, a big surprise. If that mother beep beep and I had been as pure-hearted as little Xia Yen, perhaps we wouldn't have ended up like this. But I can't turn back now. After all, the one who changed was me, not him. The drizzle moistens my gown with wet apricot. The wind caressing my face with willows chills me not. The rains in Dongdu always arrive during the waking of insects, lasting two or three months. When they finally stop, the weather will have warmed completely. Though I don't mind enjoying the rain, I came to visit and wasn't even allowed inside, instead dragged around in the rain. Isn't this rather lacking in hospitality, young Lord Xie? This isn't my house, it is Madame Gongsun's house. Besides, Deputy Governor Lian, do you still care about such things? With our relationship in shambles, whether we sit and drink tea indoors or get drenched on the streets, it makes no difference, there's no need to fuss over minor details. Indeed, that's why I've come to apologize, young Lord Sia wouldn't be so petty as to give me a cold shoulder, would you? What are you saying? If Deputy Governor Lian wishes to apologize, I shall of course forgive the offenses. You may begin now, Deputy Governor Lian. Young Lord Sia. Humph, I'm listening. You needn't call me Deputy Governor anymore. I've resigned from that position and am now just an ordinary person. Oh, was this cult master F.A.'s punishment for you? I wrongly implicated young Lord Xie, repeatedly made foolish decisions, and even nearly ruined the decennial flower anniversary tournament. By all accounts, I am an unfit deputy governor. Resigning voluntarily is the final courtesy the Dongdu government has afforded me. Then, congratulations on your newfound freedom. Enjoy your vacation. Haha, <laughs> you really have a way with words, young Lord Xie. The cult master instructed me to offer an apology and to be cautious with my words. But, I feel a pang of guilt and believe that being completely open about the matter is the only way to show sincerity. Previously, I did not truly admire you, young Lord Xie, nor did I wish to develop any romantic ties with you. Instead, I harbored ulterior motives and intended to exploit you for my own gain. I had wicked intentions, now that I reflect on it. Young Lord Xie must have sensed something amiss, which is why you ultimately mocked and humiliated me. Otherwise, given young Lord Xie's chivalrous nature, it's hard to believe that you would treat a lady who admires you so discourteously. Hee <laughs> hee, let bygones be bygones. Looks like up until now, she still hasn't realized that I was using her to practice the heavenly demon appeasement method. Ah ha ha. Why are you laughing? I feel deeply ashamed, young Lord Xie with your noble character, sterling integrity, and unfettered, magnanimous nature, despite our falling out, you are still willing to walk with me and give me an opportunity to make amends. In comparison, I am truly mortified. 
I made a grave mistake and have only myself to blame for the situation I find myself in. Young Lord Sia was right to rebuke me. I owe you an apology. I have been disrespectful towards young Lord Sia, and have committed many offenses that are too numerous to list. I implore you, young Lord Sia, to put aside past grievances and grant me your forgiveness. This matter arose solely because of me, and I should bear the consequences alone. I hope, young Lord, that you will be magnanimous and not harbor any ill will towards the flower deity cult. Right on Vaulien is being overly formal. I am not a petty person. Now that the misunderstanding has been resolved, there is no need to pursue it further. It's good to know that young Lord Sia is willing to forgive me. This is a gift of apology that the flower deity cult has prepared for you, a branch of the emerald sala fruit. Hasten to maturity using the cult's secret technique. This is a subspecies of the hundred rain sala, which grows more slowly, once planted within a sex great formation and allowed to blossom. Its fragrance will have the same effect as the emerald sala fruit. Oh, that is quite a treasure. Many thanks to your esteemed cult for such a generous gift. If its fragrance has the same effect as the emerald sala fruit, does that mean I could catch a glimpse of the great elder's true appearance? It stopped raining. Young Lord Sia, is the Han Empire really as fascinating as you described it? Um, whether something is fascinating or not is a subjective matter, however. The illusions I created for the right envoy earlier were based on true experiences. If you found enjoyment within those illusions, then you would likely enjoy the real Han Empire. I see, that's great. I've decided, I'm going to travel the Han Empire. Are you surprised, young Lord Xia? Though my intentions were wicked, I did not lie to you. Dongdu, to me, is both a fortress and a prison. I have not dared to step outside, but I have always longed for the world beyond. I've been staring at Dongdu for over thirty years. It's time to see what lies beyond. Whether this world is cruel or beautiful, one must see it for oneself to truly understand it. Young Lord Xia allowed me to experience a scenery different from that of Dongdu. I will never forget the memory of our journey to the Han Empire for the rest of my life, and I sincerely mean this. In that case, I congratulate Right Envoy Lien for fulfilling her wish. I've often thought about it since, if I had not committed those mistakes, perhaps my ending with young Lord Sia would have been different. But alas, there are no if, young Lord Sia. Seriously, you blocked it with your hand, I'm about to leave, can't you let me kiss you? Are you still angry with me? Right on Volien, I admit I intentionally provoked you before, but you are not my type, and this is true. Humph, a man who doesn't know how to appreciate, I don't want to deal with you. I'm leaving. I hope that the next time we meet, young Lord Sia's type might change. That's a bit difficult. The verdant mountains never change, and the clear waters always flow. Let's leave it at that. She wanted to sacrifice me for the Maiden's Vine Heart Sutra, and I used her to cultivate the Taoist canon of the Heavenly Demon. She suffered a deviation, while I managed to master the one time execution sword. In short, I made a profit. As for all the disputes that arose, Let's just bury the hatchet with a smile. We'll meet again some day, right on the Lien. Regardless of whether she is sincere or not now, even if she continues cultivating the Maiden's Vine Heart Sutra, as long as I don't develop feelings, I'll never fall into trouble, even if we meet again. Noon. Why are we leaving so conspicuously? Why be afraid? We're not thieves if I weren't worried about appearing too deliberate. I would have directly informed the Dongdu government that the magical dignified Prince Xie Yen and his sister are departing Dongdu and returning to the Han Empire. Are they all right in there? Of course, I have built an identical Gong Sun residence within the Kalachakra Grotto Heaven. Madam Gong Sun is playing Mahjong there. He seems to be waiting for someone. Whoever he's waiting for, it has nothing to do with us, even if it were the Emperor himself. Father, Patriarch of the Great Heavenly Demon Sect, Innate Realm Sixth Layer, Yutingshue. Is the person who got down from the carriage looking at me? Such terrifying pressure, such an overwhelming presence, with just a glance, he can make the hairs on my body stand on end. Beep, it's definitely Yutingshue at the sixth layer of the Innate Realm, I can't ignore it. For an expert at the fourth layer of the innate realm to not sense the attention of a powerhouse would be too unrealistic. Acknowledging it directly is the best response. 
Ah, Ran Ran, do you sense something watching us? Brother, you've been under so much stress lately, you're even seeing things. There's a village nearby that sells goji berries, why don't I take you for a stroll? Enough, enough, brother doesn't need that stuff. This kid is rather interesting. Father? Who are the siblings that passed by just now, do you know them? Ha oh, that is the magical dignified prince Xie Yen and his sister, the elder brother, Xie Yen, is from the Maching sect, as for the sister. I see, so he is Xie Yen, huh? Brother, isn't that Yu Ding Xue? Should we pick up the pace? Otherwise, by the time he returns and notices Madame Gong's son is missing. We can't rush, there's a faint malevolent intent watching me, if we hurry, we'll just be giving ourselves away. Let's go longer. There are no attendants today, so there's no need to rush. This is a rare opportunity. Let's take our time and stroll around. I want you to tell me in detail about your grandfather. Yes. Oh? A mask that can produce a clone? So, where is that mask now? After the clone was destroyed, both the main and secondary masks were also destroyed. They can't be traced anymore. But your clone's appearance was witnessed. Do you have a way to handle that? Father, do you remember Bien Shifei, one of the Kaiyuan era's ten prominent individuals? He's a close friend of mine. The matter has been taken care of under his arrangements. We're here. Madame Gong's son lives here. Longer, are you sure she is in here? In the past two days, I've had people watching outside. Madame Gong's son shouldn't have left her home today. You two are. Excuse us, we are here to visit Madame Gong's son. Madam went out to visit a friend this morning and hasn't returned yet. She went out to visit a friend this morning? Why didn't the people I sent to keep watch inform me? Ah, sir, sir, you. Madam Gong's son is my father's wife, due to certain reasons. They've been separated for many years. This is the first time he's come to visit. Eh, uh, then is he. Master? It's really your preferred style. It's a pity that it's daytime now. The gentle breeze lacks the allure of the night when little blue moths fly towards the glowing pearls. You finally captured the rainbow, haven't you? You once mentioned that rainbows only appear after the rain and the clouds clear up, and one must wait for a rainy day to see them. Not wanting to wait for the right moment each time, you came up with the idea of capturing the rainbow. That way, you can watch it whenever you like. Ah, uh, did dear Pan sink after seeing the master? Usually... Only Madam, the young master, and young Lord Sia receive such treatment. As expected of Madam, she truly has a fine eye. This fish is called Panin, it's born ugly, so it's embarrassed to look at good-looking people. When a good-looking person passes by, it sinks to the bottom of the water. You love this fish's stubborn nature, so you raise them at home. When bored, you would stand by the water and watch. However, these two aren't as plump as the one at home. Master, this here is Madam's room. The ink hasn't dried yet. Was this written by Pianxian this morning? Yes, Madam sometimes wakes up early to practice calligraphy. It just happens that the brocade zither has fifty strings. Each string each peg turns thoughts to the flowering years. Zhuang Zhou's morning dream lost in a butterfly. Emperor Wang's spring heart lodged in a cuckoo. When the moon grows bright on the gray sea, there are tears and pearl. When the sun warms indigo fields, the jade gives off a mist. One could wait until these feelings become remembrance. It's just that at the moment I was already in a daze. Master, you? Master is ignoring me. Is the master writing a poem in response to madam? No other waters could impress me for I've seen the vast seas, having viewed the majestic Mount Wu. Other clouds can't please me. I will never glance again at other flowers. For my destined love is half for you, dear, and half for the Tao, wow. Miss, you may leave now. I've questioned all the maidservants in the house, but no one knows where Madame Gong's son went, besides. The number of people doesn't add up, at least half of them are missing, which doesn't match with my previous investigation. She has already left. My malevolent thoughts actually lost track of that kid. Finally rid of that faint malevolent intent. So this kind of spirit-concealing artifact only works when out of the other party's line of sight? Fortunately, I cultivate the true art of Mara, even Ran Ran, a Buddhist cultivator, couldn't sense that faint malevolent intent. Any other ordinary expert at the fourth layer of the innate realm would have already made a mistake. Of course, disappearing right in front of someone isn't called concealing your spirit. That's called turning invisible. 
which is even more suspicious. That's why I chose this caravan traveling along a dense forest trail, with so many people and trees, as long as Yudin Shua's sensory technique isn't like a 360 degrees HD surveillance camera with no blind spots. It'll be easy to interfere, that's our opportunity. Brother wants to shit, quick, let's find a bathroom. If they went straight to Elder Gongsun's house, they should have noticed something was off by now, while our spirit-concealing artifacts are still effective. Let's quickly make our escape. So annoying, I suggested sneaking off, but you insisted on going through the front gate. You know Beep, brother has big plans later on, so traces of our whereabouts must be left behind. Interesting, very interesting, I wonder if he did it intentionally or not. Sia Yen escaped from your malevolent intent tracing, father, how is that possible? Why wouldn't it be, each generation brings forth new talents, with the younger surpassing the older, if one doesn't constantly surpass their predecessors, the lineage deserves to end. But, if Madame Gong Sun and brother have indeed left, it must have something to do with Xie Yen, if we don't take care of him. Since she wants to leave, there's no need to force her to stay, she's merely returning to her family home, besides. We are destined to be entangled for life, she cannot escape. Let's not talk about that anymore, let's talk about you. This is your first time completing a task on your own. I'm pleased that you have shown such awareness and initiative. Longer. Father, I. But you overestimated yourself and underestimated the four sex too much. I can confidently say that Patriarch Ming has already guessed part of this. Cult Master F.A. knows. And even your grandfather should have faintly discerned a thing or two by now. The reason they remain silent is because Bien Shifei's words have partially resolved the issue. They haven't forgiven you. Rather, they are showing respect to the imperial family behind Bian Shifei, and to me, now that I've advanced to the sixth layer of the innate realm. This entire incident, to put it bluntly, revolves around two key points. The first is that artifact of unknown origin, and the second is the hawk-eyed constable. You didn't know the origin of the mask, yet you still sacrificed so much. Although you achieved your goal, you were also controlled by malevolence. Without Wushuang's help in the end, you would have inflicted significant damage on the enemy while causing substantial harm to yourself. You thought the hawk-eyed constable stood by you because of your friendship. Little did you know, deposing your grandfather was the imperial family's intention. And if the imperial family's intentions ever change, this matter will become the hawk-eyed constable's leverage over you. Now that I have reached the sixth layer of the innate realm, no one will make an issue of this. But what will you do when you have to bear the burden alone in the future? I. Longer you are still too naive. 